Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulant Rejection. Technology gain times two, three, and five. I have the PS4 hooked up to the wallpaper projection screen, uh, the K&A wallpaper package that comes with a BenQ projector. Keep in mind these kits will come with the BenQ projector and one quart of the Illuminous Superior Screen Paint. Or if you already own a projector already, you can get the wallpaper projection screen with just the one quart. Now, um, a few, th one, actually I have something coming in today. I actually ordered an ultra short throw projector. It will be here today. Um, also too, I'll be doing a spray on demonstration of the Superior. I'm doing this on Styrofoam. Now keep in mind, if you can coat Styrofoam, you can coat any surface you want, and this is what the stuff is designed for. All right, so we're gonna do a demonstration on that. Now this right here is the wallpaper package. I gotta get hopping because I gotta take pictures. I gotta load them on the website. I've been so busy with the launch date, I forgot about the, the k and projectors, and now I gotta set this up on the website. So this will be available today around 12 o'clock. You'll be to go in and get the wallpaper screen, or you can go in and get that projector package. There is the projector right there. They come brand new in the box with the warranty, the whole nine yards. This is absolutely fantastic. As you can see, like I said, even at 720p looks absolutely incredible on my screen. I did this demonstration where I was showing off my 146 inch upstairs and that's an Eclipse Cinema with a Ambulite Rejection Technology Gain Times 2 and that thing looked absolutely incredible. All right, so um, here it is. Here's the Styrofoam. There's my Wagner 150. A lot of people have been asking me what kind of sprayer to use. Wagner 150 is the best one. I like to use them right there. It's an easy sprayer to use for anybody. These are the one quart kits I was talking about in the last video demonstration. We usually pack these in with those of you who have ordered projectors. We have two of them upstairs. The Christie and Panasonic are on their way out. Um, this is going to be a package that I told you because we have some customers going to be painting smaller applications like 50 inches to 100 inches. So this is what this will do. 50 inch to 100 inch. This is going to be a one quart kit and it's going to come with a blackout cloth. Um, it is going to be somewhere in the price range of $298. All right, so let's begin. We're going to come over here and grab my Wagner 150, Ugh. which I already have set up already. Wagner 150. Now, I know this says, a lot of you saying, it says, well, that doesn't say Wagner 150. That's a 570. The Canon itself is a 150. I actually had a 570 in the house compressor, a 510. No 570 in the house and decided to attach on the back. So if you do want a bigger compressor, you can just buy another one and just attach it on the back. That's just what I did for me for different modifications because I do larger applications sometimes. All right, so let's begin. I actually have enough cord here. So no, no matter how long my stingy cord, I never have enough cord. I don't know why, I just don't. Now it's up to you. They decide you want to do two coats. It's a one to two coat process. So it's a one to two coat process. That is it. Ugh, my sprayer over there. Let me grab an edge of the screen because keep in mind the screen is still going to be wet. All right. So let's put it right against here. That's right. one. And let's grab the other one. Try not to mess it up or jack it up. 
That's two. It just may be a little messed up because I did pinch the top of it a bit. But that doesn't make a difference anyway, does it? Alright, so there it is right there. Okay. That's going to take some time to dry, but like I said, this is just a fast spray on demonstration. Alright. It's out of the way. I put my camera down just for a minute while I grab my projector and set things up over here. There we go. Alright, so my projector is powering on right now. So yeah, so while that's powering on, that should take no time at all. Like I said, we're going to do a one quart package. Uh, the one quart package is going to allow you to be able to paint a screen size of 50 inch to 100 inch because I have some people saying, well look, I'm not going to be using that paint, I just want a small application. So that's what that's for, it's for these small applications. There's the screen powering on right now. Now you see that part at the bottom? Now this larger screen you're seeing right here, that is coated with superior technology. If I take the projector, which I'm using a lens shift, you can see the difference between the white area at the bottom. See, there's a white wall, and that is superior technology right there. And this is on styrofoam, coated on styrofoam. Just to show you that you can coat any surface you want with this technology, and it's gonna look absolutely incredible. I have fish set up to begin with. Let me go in, so I can find something else. Uh, let's go grab some other video. Uh, let me see. Yep, wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong. I didn't want to pick that one. Okay, sorry about that. If I had the camera down there for a bit, I'm still over here trying to select through my phone real quick, I'm trying to grab something. Because I have a lot on my plate, and the day has been like, man, rush, 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 trying to get it all done. A lot of work that has to be done. All right. And I still have pictures and all this other stuff that has to be taken, take, uh, pictures and all kinds of stuff that has to be done. So sorry if there's a little glare to the picture. Keep in mind, it is still wet. Gonna have to dry a bit. It's still wet. Once it dries, it'll look just like that over there. Let's just give you an idea on how you can paint this on anything you want. Now, that right there is the screen painted on the wallpaper surface. Sorry, screen paint painted on the wallpaper surface. I said screen painted on the wallpaper surface. Sorry about that. Screen paint painted on the wallpaper surface. Okay, 
right there. That's my PS4 on my 3000 lumen projector right there. Fully lit environment. Now the larger screen you're seeing behind you, that is also superior. So this is my 147 inch, no, 147 inch 235.1 screen. Let me turn this down a bit, it's a bit loud. That's better. Like I said, as it dries, it's gonna, like I said, it's still wet, it's gonna have a bit of a glare to it, you can see, it's still wet. But it's gonna have a bit of glare to it. Anytime you paint something, and like I said, it'll always happen, I don't care what kind of screen you have, you paint it, hit it with a projector, you're always gonna get a glare because the screen's still wet. And that's the screen right there behind it dry, of course. And over here we have it set up on the PS4 on the wallpaper surface. Now the wallpaper surface projection screens that package from K8 will be available today, like I said, around 12 o'clock. We also too will have a new kit on the site. It will be a one quart kit. It will come with one quart of the superior uh, Amulite rejection screen paint. It will also come with a blackout cloth surface. Price tag for that will be around $298. Show you the angle gain all the way around. I also want to show you where the projector is sitting. That's where my projector is sitting. I like that the projector is sitting pretty close up. Now, these projectors, when I do demonstrations, they sit back pretty far off. They're not sitting right up on top of the screen. They sit back around 12. Most sometimes I have projectors around 8 feet or 9 feet, 12 feet, but they sit back pretty far off. So that's where my projector is sitting. That's the distance of where my projector sits from here to here. But I want to do a fast spray on demonstration really quick and then do it on styrofoam. You know, it's something that people don't do when they do home theater setups. They will not do a styrofoam surface. But like I said, this stuff is designed to be coated on just about any surface I want. Now, next demonstration, I'm going to get this to dry thoroughly. Once it's dry, I'll do another demonstration just like so. I'll do this on the 3000 lumen. Right now, I have this on the 42, but I'll do this on the 3000 lumen projector. I'll do this on the 2600 lumen projector. We'll do it on the 200 lumen projector. It doesn't make a difference. This technology will be used on different levels of projectors, which you've shown in our demonstrations. So just want to cover this real quick. Uh, with K&A, yes, people have been asking us for ultra short throw projectors. They are coming. They've been asking us for 3D projectors. Matter of fact, the BenQ projector that does come with the kit is a 3D projector. Now the price tag for the wallpaper screen will be around the price tag around $868. That's the price for it with the projector, with the wallpaper surface, and also too with uh, the superior uh, screen paint. As you can see, this stuff has amazing capability. It has the ability to produce images on front and rear, which means if you coat this on plexiglass, keep in mind, I'm gonna put my camera right here for a minute. Just gotta grab something real quick. I'm gonna grab one of the sample sheets in the back. Now this is the superior painted on plexiglass, right? So if you paint it on plexiglass, it becomes front and rear. See this? 
So it does, my black paint, this black screen paint that I developed, does something that other screen paints don't do. Some people want to claim to have the same technology. No. Keep in mind, these screens pull up images. They can pull an image up at around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They can pull an image up at 4 o'clock in, in the afternoon. Now, if I were to paint this on plexiglass, see projector right there. All I would have to do is take the plexiglass and just slide it right across. Now the reason why this looks so shiny on this side because all you have to do is paint one side. One side of the plexiglass is all you need to do. This is the opposite side, it's not painted. But that's why it has that glare to it. So there's the screen right there on styrofoam, right? And here's the plexiglass. I'm gonna slide the plexiglass right in front and you can see the screen push right through. That's the difference between superior technology. That's why it's called superior because it has multiple applications. You can coat this on anything you want if you coat this on plexiglass, it becomes front and rear technology. Screens can pull up images at 4 to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So this is what's so amazing about this technology. Where other screen paints, you stick them outside, they'll fade, they'll wash out, and they don't have front and rear technology, which this stuff has. So like I said, I'm going to do it again. There is a projector, and this is, like I said, this is the plexiglass. This is the side, the opposite side right here. So the opposite side right here, you don't have to worry about that. You paint one side, that's all you have to do, the side that's painted. So I'm going to take it again, run it across, so you can see. And it's blocking the projector. Start right here. Now as I start to move it back, you'll see the image pull up on the other screen. That's what I'm talking about. This technology is very unique. Now it's up to you for a better, better coating. You can prime your surface with flat black paint. Any form of flat black paint you can coat your surface with and then you can coat it over with our technology if you choose to do it that way. If you choose to paint it on plexiglass, like I said, it will become front and rear. Unless you paint the opposite side of it, like if you paint the other side of it black, then you're not going to have that problem. So I'll set it over there. There's the PS4 right there. So there's my projector on this side, on plexiglass, and there's the PS4. So if I wanted to do rear projection in PS4, I can do it. That's why I tell people, you don't have, you not, you're not, people see, see the thing about, they see the video on a superior and they see the demonstrations of the superior on a black screen inside and they go, wow, it's the same thing, I'm doing the same thing. No. I stick the screen outside and so we're doing the same thing. No, 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 no. When that screen pulls up images on both sides, it can pull up images outside. Like I said, when we test it on 200 lumen projectors, one of the te demonstrations I love to do is when I take the screen and I take some everyday black paint and I put it right next to it and I basically do white demonstrations, white level demonstrations, not blending in with fish, white snowstorm demonstrations to show you how high the white levels are on this technology is. All right, let me come over here. Got to get on out of here. I got much to do today. Got a lot of pictures to take. I got to start loading this up on the website and getting this ready for you all. I love doing this particular demonstration. Like I said, on styrofoam. And this adds a 190 degree viewing angle. 
All right, for my time runs out here, I am Kenneth Bird from Illuminus 4K Screen Paint using ambient light rejection, technology gain times two, three, and five. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Our uh, K&A Home Cinema in a Box will be available on our website, the wallpaper packages. And then later on, once those sell out, we'll start working on some other packages. We also have some outdoor cinema packages that are gonna be coming out also. Like I said, this is only every day, cheap styrofoam just to show you what you can cope with this stuff. But like I said, you can go get a, Wag a Wagner 150 would cost you around $59. And keep in mind, the projector I'm using behind me is 720p. That's a 720p projector. My Epson is a 720p projector XGA, or sorry, WXGA, at 720p. The BenQ is 720p. So it just shows our customers, if you don't want to spend for it, if you don't want to spend, for a 1080p projector, you don't have to. If you don't want to spend money for 4K, you don't have to. You could do this with a 720p projector and still have a magnificent picture. And I've seen, you got some people out there with 4K projectors, high power 1080p projectors, and they're still doing demonstrations in the dark. That's because the screen paint cannot produce the images it claims to be to produce. It has to be in a dark environment in order for the image to pull up. And I've said this many times, if you're watching in the dark on that demonstration, you will be in the dark. Thank you all for your time. I got to go and God bless.